Hey friends, welcome to today's menstrual flow. This practice is focusing on the menstrual phase for women. And if you're feeling any maybe cramps, maybe tightness, maybe just soreness in your body or your back, this practice is going to help alleviate some of that, of those pains, of those aches, and just hopefully make you feel amazing and help you thrive during, during this phase of our cycles. So without further ado, we will start in Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly pose. And how we will get into that is you will bring the soles of your feet together, your knees will go out wide, and you will slowly lower your back all the way down to the ground. We're going to be bringing our hands into Yoni Mudra or a variation of it. You'll bring your hands into a triangle like this, touching the pointer fingers and the thumbs, and then placing that right over your uterus, your womb space, right underneath the belly button. Yoni is a Sanskrit word for womb, and a mudra is a hand gesture that helps move energy within the body, directing it where you want it to go. We have a lot of energy moving towards our yoni during this time. Sending your attention to this space, feeling the nice opening of your hips, wanting to bring space into this area of our bodies right now. Noticing if you have any discomfort or pain here. Just sending your energy and your breath towards the space. One more big inhale. And big exhale. Inhaling, bringing your knees up together. Your arms can go out wide and just rocking your knees left to right. Coming, massaging your lower back. Awakening this area of the body. Good, then coming back to center. Hugging your knees into your chest. Again, just massaging your lower back if that feels good or maybe staying still. This should feel really good on your womb space. And sending your legs straight up. You can use your hands behind your knees for support or behind your thighs for legs up the wall. Maybe pointing and flexing your toes here. Maybe massaging the back of your legs. Sledding the blood flow down from your legs. Good, one more breath in. And exhale, begin to bend into your knees, bringing them to the outsides of your body knees towards your armpits. Now you can either stay holding behind your knees, maybe reaching for the bottoms of your feet or your big toes, coming into a happy baby. Just rock side to side gently if that feels good on your body, or maybe staying in stillness. Again, just opening up this space, stretching your legs and your back your hips. Beautiful. Maybe giving yourself a little smile here in this happy baby pose. Good. Now gently hugging your knees back into your chest. Just take a little rock all the way up. Coming into a tabletop position now. Your shoulders are directly over your wrists, your hips directly over your knees. We'll take a couple rounds of cat-cow here, inhaling, dropping the belly, looking up towards the sky, really feeling that stretch in the whole front of your body. And then exhaling, rounding through the spine, tucking your chin to your chest, pressing through your shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. 
Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. So coming back to a neutral spine, begin to walk your hands forward. Lowering your chest to the ground, keeping your hips above your knees, and then slowly lowering your forehead down to the mat for puppy pose. Really feeling that stretch through the shoulders, through your upper arms. If you'd like to take it a little bit further, see if you can bring your chin to the mat instead of your forehead. Really getting it into this deep stretch. On your next inhale, begin to slowly press forward. Now lowering your hips down to the mat, keeping your arms parallel. And then beginning to open up through your chest, looking up towards the sky. For Sphinx pose. Opening your chest, opening your heart. Inhale. And exhale, lower all the way down. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders now. On your next inhale, press into your hands. Lift halfway up for baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. This time pressing all the way up, straightening your arms. Coming into upward facing dog, lifting your knees off the mat, opening up your chest, feeling that stretch through your whole front body. And then exhaling, lowering your knees down, bringing your big toes to touch, sending your knees out wide. We'll come back into a child's pose. Again, opening up your knees as wide as you can, creating space for your Mm, for your uterus. Relieving any tension or tightness in this area. This practice today is going to be quite gentle. We need to conserve our energy at this time for shedding, for rebirth. For new creation that's what the yoni mudra is all about that is what our yonis do every month we shed for rebirth so we don't want to deplete our energy pushing ourselves too hard in yoga or in any physical activities really this is the time to rest to recover, practicing self-care and love for our bodies, not pushing ourselves too hard, Good. setting that intention for the rest of your practice, for the rest of your menstrual cycle. Good, inhale, come back up to a neutral tabletop position. Go ahead and tuck your toes, sending your hips high, coming into a downward facing dog. Pedaling out your legs a little bit here, maybe keeping your knees bent if that feels better. Breathing deeply. Good, on your next inhale, look forward about four steps to the top of your mat. Just come into a forward fold, letting your upper body just hang heavy, maybe swaying side to side if that feels good for you. Just rocking back and forth. Letting go of any tension in your neck and your spine. Uh, then bringing your feet to touch. Go ahead and bend into your knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. Coming into a mountain pose. Rolling out your shoulders once you get to the top. 
Coming back to our Yoni Mudra, just place that here in our mountain pose for a moment. Cultivating energy into this space. As you inhale, feeling the energy rise up through you. And as you exhale, it comes back down. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up. Give me a little back bend here. Exhale, folding all the way down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Take a couple steps back. Come down to the knees first. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra or full upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful work, my friends. Inhale, your left toes high. Exhale, step in between your palms, lowering your right knee down. Now, if this is as far as your body wants to go today, honor that and just feel into the stretch here through your whole hip flexor. If you'd like to go a little bit further, you can inhale your arms up, maybe just to heart center. Maybe they rest on your knee. Lots of options here, doing what feels best for your body at this time. Breathing deeply here. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, your left hand comes down either to a block or to the floor, reaching your right arm up and over towards the left side feeling a deeper stretch within your right hip. Really, really opening it up now. Good, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower your hands down. This time, bringing your left palm inside of your left foot, maybe heel toeing your left foot out to the edge of your mat a little bit, coming into our lizard pose. Now again, you can stay here up on your hands if you have some blocks, maybe you can come down to your forearms or maybe just coming down to them on the mat. Wherever you're at today is perfect. Again, just deeply stretching here. Maybe coming to the outside edge of your left foot, pressing that knee away from you, opening up through the left hip now. Good. One more breath in. And breath out, coming back to center. Now tucking your right toes, you'll lift up your right knee. And in one step or maybe two, we'll step your right foot up to the outer edge of your mat and come down into our deep yogic squat or malasana. Bringing your hands to heart center. If you need a block underneath for support, go ahead and do that. Again, just creating this open, wide space for this area to breathe, to open. Feel the energy going to this area, to your hips, to your pelvis, to your womb space. Using your elbows to maybe press your knees out a little bit further if you can. Breathing here. Go ahead and plant your hands down. This time taking your left foot and stepping it to the back. We'll heel toe that right foot in between our hands, lowering down your left knee, coming into our low lunge on the right side now. Again, you can stay here, maybe lift up, bringing your hands to your knees, heart center, or lifting them up to the sky. Breathing into your left hip now, feeling it open, feeling that stretch. Good, 
breathe, inhaling your arms up. And exhale, drop your right arm down to a block or the ground, reaching your left arm up and over, feeling that deeper stretch throughout your whole side body. Inhale back to center. Exhale, plant your hands down. Your right hand comes on the inside of your right foot, heel toeing your right foot out to the edge of your mat. Again, you can stay upright here, maybe come down to your elbows, onto the block or on a mat. Maybe rocking a little bit here. Again, option to come to the outside edge of your right foot, maybe pressing that knee away from you. Wherever you are, breathe deeply. Good, coming back to center. Again, lifting up your back knee, stepping that left foot forward. We'll come down into our malasana one more time. Maybe this time, instead of just staying here, you'd like to Take it a step further, maybe bringing your left arm down, reaching your right arm up to the sky. And then going the opposite way. Inhale, right arm goes up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, left arm goes up. Exhale, bring it down, good. Now we'll place both hands on the mat, press all the way up to straight legs, heel toeing your feet together, bending into your knees, rising all the way up, mountain pose. Exhaling, hands down to heart center, and bringing your hands into our yoni mudra, in our mountain pose. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, come up halfway, flatten out your back. Exhale, plant your hips, take two steps back and just come right into our downward facing dog. Beautiful work, my friends. Go ahead and inhale your right toes high. Exhale, bringing your right knee behind your right wrist and your foot goes behind your left wrist, coming into a pigeon pose. Making sure that both of your hips are square here. And then when you're ready, you can exhale, lower down to the mat, coming onto your elbows, or maybe all the way down to the ground. Resting here. Stretching your hip, your leg. Good. Inhale, come back up. And now from here, we'll t shift over onto your left butt cheek, sweeping your left leg up all the way around over your right knee. And then we'll take our right arm, reach it up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Your left hand comes behind you, looking over your left shoulder for this gentle twist. Good, and coming back to center. Now from here, just face you guys. Just begin to stack both of your knees, if you can. If this is too challenging for you, you can just bring your left ankle on top of your knee. But if you can stack your knees, this is called a shoelace pose. You can either hold on to your ankles or just hold on to the ground, wherever feels good. If you'd like to take it a little further, you can begin to bend over your knees, feeling a deeper stretch in your glutes, in your lower back. Good, and coming 
back to center. We're gonna go for quite a big transition here. Taking your left leg, swinging it all the way back, planting your hands and lifting them right back up into downward facing dog. Beautiful friends, we'll take it to the other side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Sending your right leg back, coming into pigeon pose, squaring out your hips. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower down to the mat. Relaxing into this pose. This shouldn't feel painful at all. If it does, maybe come up a little bit or bring your foot a little bit closer to your body. We want to stretch and lengthen our muscles, but not with pain. With the breath. With each breath, you can sink a little bit lower. The tension releases a little bit more. And we slowly begin to release without pain. Good. On your next inhale, push yourself back up. And exhale, swing your right leg all the way around, over, crossing over your left. This time taking the left elbow, bringing it across the right knee. Right arm goes behind you for a gentle twist, looking over your right shoulder. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Now we'll go for that shoelace pose on the side now, lining up your knees, this time right knee on top of your left. Your feet can either be close to you or maybe see how it feels to walk them out a little bit further for a deeper stretch. Now you can either stay here or begin to slowly lower over your knees. Feeling that nice release in your glutes, in your lower back. Again, breathing into the stretch, releasing with each exhale. Good. Now coming back to center, we're just going to release this pose. Now bringing the soles of our feet together, send the knees out wide. Coming into a butterfly. All of these opening postures really open up the space, make room for the energy flowing to this area. And you can either stay here or once again begin to fold forward. As we wind down our practice, Notice if you have any changes that occurred, any pains that are no longer there, any tensions that got released, maybe any new ones that arose. Inhaling, coming back to center. And from here, we'll stay in that butterfly pose and just come down, lowering down to our elbows, lowering down to our back, in the same way that we started in that reclined butterfly or Sukta Baddha Konasana. Just for a couple breaths here. Inhaling, the legs come together, hugging your knees into your chest. We'll come into our happy baby one last time, reaching for your feet or maybe just behind your thighs. Taking whatever last movements here feel good in your body. If you need anything else, if your body's asking for anything else, now is the time. Be stretching out your legs. Maybe just holding yourself. 
hugging your knees back into your chest one last time. Inhale and exhale, send your legs out long. We'll come into our Yoni Mudra one last time in our Shavasana. Letting go of all the tension, all the worry of all the thoughts. Just cultivating that Mother Earth energy, the divine feminine energy of creation. Let that soft energy come into your body, come into your womb space, relaxing into it. cultivating this energy for creation, for creation of arts, of your business, of your dreams. That's how we can use this beautiful rebirth, this death and rebirth that we go through every month on a cycle. That is the divine feminine energy, the goddess energy that is within you all the time. Taking this time to remember that, honor that, and let yourself feel into that divine energy, that divine love, unconditional love. Thanking this space for all that it does, all that it goes through. Honoring the energy that it takes. Honoring the rest that we need during this time. You can remain lying here as long as you would like, meditating on this mudra, meditating with your womb. But if you're ready to come back to your day, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you take a few deep breaths. Rocking your head side to side. Stretch your arms out above you, pointing your toes for a long body stretch. And then rolling over onto one side. Pausing for a moment, giving yourself so much love and gratitude for showing up for this practice today. Thanking your body for all the beautiful things that it does and that it can do. Inhaling, coming up to a comfortable seated position, maybe keeping your eyes closed. We'll close out our practice with three magical sighs. You'll just take a nice big inhale, filling up, and then sigh it out with your voice, <sighs> releasing all of the tension, just releasing everything. Good, we'll inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, <sighs> sweeping the arms down. Inhale, two more. Exhale, <sighs> one more. <sighs> Thank 
to you so much for practicing with me today, friends. I love you all, and namaste.